I'll just show you how the remote memory station operates with the help of artificial intelligence. It's going to automatically uh, engage the targets after detecting and tracking them. All that I have to do is uh, press on a button and you'll be able to see that it's automatically Engaging. moving. Indian Army has developed two major artificial intelligence equipped weapon systems. One is Trishul, another one is uh, Silent Sentry, which patrols the border and alerts the Indian Army. Uh, this is such a great artificial intelligence revolution in India that the military themselves, uh, they are developing such equipment. I am being joined by Major Paris Kavar, who is behind this innovation. Uh, sir, welcome to National Defence. Can you please tell uh, our viewers what kind of systems you have developed? Can you explain your system, sir? It's an uh, autonomous patrolling robot which is capable of patrolling one kilometer for six hours continuously without any human intervention. It has a capability to automatically recharge itself. So that means it is totally human-free operation that is taking place. It has AI integrated into it, wherein as you can see on the screen, that it's able to detect human beings from as far as one to two kilometers, and then it's able to generate alarms. It has the capability to detect objects, track objects, identify objects, uh, carry out face recognition, store the data as well as uh, after storing data as well as carry out data analytics. So all these capabilities make it uh, AI based autonomous robot for patrolling and carrying out surveillance on the LC. It's mounted on a rail because rails can be easily installed on the AIOS and other fences. Okay, uh, so how are we going to protect the system or the rail per se in case if enemy uh, wants to hurt? So, is there the vulnerability in this particular system or how we improve on that vulnerability? Now the system is has been made in such a way that the already existing AIOS or fence that is there on the LC. So if something is getting destroyed or getting hurt, this is the same system that is installed on top of it. Okay. So it is so simple to modify that you don't have to construct the whole thing. All that you have to do is just change the rail which is an aluminium rail which is available in the market and, we can, and can be changed easily free of, uh, like with very less cost that will be incurred onto the system. Okay, uh, so how much feet or uh, the distance of this rail would be? Uh, the robot has been designed to carry out patrolling for one kilometer, one robot for six hours. So you can have multiple robots covering, uh, let's say there's 749 kilometers of LC running around. So you have 749 kilometers of this rail and multiple robots, 749 robots running simultaneously patrolling the uh, LC automatically. That's very nice. So, uh, how you started developing this system? Uh, what was the genesis of this technology? Uh, can you elaborate on that, sir? Uh, since the LC is so huge, it's not possible to have cameras to be installed everywhere, which are not cost effective because uh, you need a lot of wiring to be done, a lot of uh, infrastructure that is required. Now this robot is wirelessly, as you can uh, acting wirelessly, is controlled wirelessly and can be controlled from 5 to 10, 15 kilometers. So using a wireless robot makes this easier, uh, makes us uh, makes it very easier to carry out surveillance without having multiple cameras installed. Wherever a person is not patrolling, the robot can patrol at that place. Right. So uh, I have uh, I could see the silent sentry and uh, the Trishul, this remote uh, weapon station. Can you also tell us about that? Uh, this is an AI-assisted remote weapon station. It's capable of engaging targets at a range of 300 meters uh, in both day and night. The accuracy is 100% first round hit percentage at uh, 300 meters in both day and night and 90% uh, first round hit percentage at moving targets. The weapon system is capable of uh, acquiring targets automatically. It engages the targets automatically or on human commands. So it is actually kind of a lethal autonomous weapon station, but with human in the loop system. Because of the ethical concerns that are there, it has human control, it has safety controls embedded into it. And uh, it is a multi-weapon station which can handle AK-47, 5.56mm Insar rifle, 5.56mm LMG, uh, sniper, SVD, uh, Dragonov rifle, 
सिक्स सेवन वन सिक्स अजॉल्ट राइफल सो इट्स अ मल्टी वेपन केपेबिलिटी सिस्टम सो इट इज काइंड ऑफ ए स्नाइपर रिमोट स्नाइपर रिमोट इफ यू एड अ स्नाइपर ऑन टू इट इट इज अ रिमोट स्नाइपर इफ यू एड ऑन अजॉल्ट राइफल टू इट इज इट इज अटोमैटिक ऑटोनॉमस अजॉल्ट राइफल सिस्टम सो आई जस्ट शो यू दी एक्यूरेसी ऑफ द सिस्टम the weapon system is able to engage even smaller targets at a range of 300 meters which are very difficult for human targets uh, human uh, soldiers or firers to achieve very nice we have uh, conducted about nine firing trials of this system with 100% first round hit percentage in the day and uh, it works in all weather conditions uh, since it since, since it's using a thermal integrated camera as you can see over here it's a thermal integrated camera made by uh, tatas it's called as tata rajak so yes it's able to work in both day night snowy conditions or any kind of inclement weather conditions that are there that's very nice like uh, uh, how many people were involved in developing this artificial intelligence technology and how long it took it has been done by a team of workshop of the indian army so it's taken us about 1 uh, to 2 years to develop the whole system after a lot of firing trials that have taken place we've been able to uh, bring the system to such accuracy that it's uh, able to automatically or autonomously select or engage the targets and engage them with 100% accuracy so what are the future plans like to improve on this technology uh, do you see uh, some improvement also uh, since it's been developed by the workshop now the army design bureau has taken up a case for uh, productionization of the product and make uh, of this uh, weapon system as well as improving upon whatever the uh, smaller issues are there or making it much much more accurate so that it's lethal to the enemy Right thank you thank you for thank speaking you so to much. national defense thank you jai sir